Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. If Senator Bernie Sanders can't explain how to pay for single payer, why is he trying to force it on us? Most people don't even understand what Democrats mean when they say single payer. Health care for everybody? Well, great. It sounds good. Not exactly how it works. Even Bernie Sanders can't explain it. Watch. A single payer health care system, in my view, and according to studies that I have seen, would save the average family significant sums of money. Forgive me if I don't believe you, Senator, but that's what President Obama told us about Obamacare. You'll save $2,500 on your premiums every year, he said. Well, we all know that was a lie. Why should we believe you now? Plus, it's a misnomer to think of health care as being government funded or free. The government in and of itself does not work for money. They do not have a job. We have jobs. They take our money. We still will be paying for our own health care, plus we'll be paying for other people's health care. How is that saving money, and how is that fair? Once again, if you look at Canada's single-payer health care system, per capita, their, their costs are far, far less than the United States. Also far, far less, the quality of care. Senator Sanders, how many Canadians cross the border into the U.S. every year for health care? That's right, because our health care system is better. Why do Canadians come here if Canada's single-payer system is so great? Oh, that's right. It's not that great. Probably Justin Trudeau does all that yoga to prevent injury because the wait time for knee surgery is crippling. Literally. Look at the UK. If you look at countries around the world, all of, one diff all of which have different approaches to a national health care system, in every instance, they are spending substantially less per capita than we spend in the United States. Let's take a quick glance around the world. If we don't study history, we'll be doomed to repeat it. Cuba, Venezuela, Canada, Britain, France, each of those countries claim to save money. They do so by denying people care. Don't believe me? Ask Charlie Gard. Ask cancer patients in Canada. Ask the elderly in France. Ask fat people in Britain who are denied surgery because their quality of life, even after surgery, won't increase enough to justify the cost, according to the government. A quick glance around the world should make us quake in our boots at the idea of government in charge of our health care. In Cuba, if government health care is so great, why do people risk shark-infested waters to escape the communist utopia? In Venezuela, the descent from prosperity to progressive socialism to outright revolution took less than 20 years. Now, mothers are evacuated off the maternity ward because tear gas could kill their babies. Antibiotics are so scarce, a little girl waited three months in the hospital for what we here in the United States would consider routine outpatient care. The only reason she survived is because the mother of a boy who died donated his antibiotics to her. A quick glance around the world shows us the truth, Senator Sanders. Single-payer health care is not health care. It's socialism. It's government dictating what we're allowed to do for our health and what they won't pay for. And don't talk to me about human decency and every person entitled to free health care. How is it decent to force people to purchase expensive health insurance plans that they don't want? How are skyrocketing premiums and insane deductibles? How is that decent? How is it decent to force small businesses to shut down and lay off employees because they can't afford the astronomical cost Obamacare government mandates shoved down their throats? How is it decent to force people to pay a penalty if they don't buy a product you're peddling? You supported all that, Senator, and that's not decent. And now your solution? Your solution will make it worse to force government onto us even when it hasn't worked, even when we don't want it, even when your only examples are socialized nations around the world with inferior health care to us. And then you can't even tell us how you'd pay for it? No thanks. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.